Four is you lie. What fell over? What is that that fell over? What would I want? Child, who don't waste something on the table? Look at the devil. The devil, we was having a good time. Who don't wait? That was my drink. When he pushed this in. That was my drink. T.T., give me a towel without them phone. Yes, baby, these are iPhones, but it's an 8. Now, this one I'm worried about. The 8. The 8. Oh, see. Where's that one? Where's that one? Where's that one? Where's that one? Fuck the devil. Yes. He has, no, he has no power here. What's up, everybody? Y'all come on to the episode. Corey, you leaving? Oh, okay, I'm getting, get, you can get none of this? Okay, a okay, little bit, a little bit. But listen, you know what I want you to do, Corey? Uh-huh. I want you to take that back, what you gave me today, and then run all the ones together. Like this one, that one, oh, that. Oh, oh. And then run a piece of them together. Can you have my yeah. water? You know. <laughs> You leaving, baby? But well, Corey's gonna get just a little bit of this. Just a little bit. I'm gonna do Hi! Bit. Look, yo, you can't leave. Listen, this, listen, Skeeters is so. Put this over there where it can dry. That's my, that's my notepad, honey. Got all y'all social security number in it. <laughs> Give me that. Look, look what this child did. Do you? I don't know if y'all, if y'all watch the show live. It was a bunch of crabs and shit. Adrian came over here and brought his DC uh, ass. Listen, let me tell y'all. I ain't eat all of them. She gave me this half full. I didn't. I gave it to you completely full. No. And this all. This the only crab leg I got left. No, it's two in there. Tokyo. Mind y'all fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you Tokyo the hell of that. She say shit. Baby, this is Skittles. Boiling pot. Boiling pot. Boiling's authentic boil seafood. Ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is sponsored by Skeeter's Boiling Pot. Yes. Authentic. Tell them in this sticker. They were they listen to it. New Orleans authentic ball seafood. Best flavor in the city. I promise you. The best Get flavor in the city. Get your authentic ass away from my crab. Thank you. <laughs> Like that? I, I can't eat my crab in peace. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this, this all Adrian left Stop. me. It's one more right there. Was a little piece and a shrimp. And don't you eat it either, nigga. Hey, that. got two shrimp left in this bitch. We sentenced him to Otis. You come on, Otis. <laughs> Otis. Nigga, you gonna be dead like that horse. You gonna be Look. sentenced to death by bucket. Uh, real quick, before I get out of here. Anybody want that real boy seafood? Follow us on Instagram. Skeeters BP, S K I T O R S B P. We follow back, DM us, we will pull up wherever you at. Wherever you at, we will bring New Orleans to you. I promise you. Phone number? Yeah. Phone number 404 514 4895. What it is? What it is? 404 514 4895. Amen. Praise God. Skeeters Boiling Pots. We'll come to New York, New Jersey. Alaska, anywhere I can drive, we'll be there. That's the price is okay. right. You driving to Alaska? <laughs> See, what it seems what happened was, we'll find a way to get there. Listen, <laughs> they say, will you come to Orlando? Orlando, anywhere. If we could drive there and you want us, we will come. Pull up, we'll pull the pots out, ball right there in front of you. Call, put your number out there one more time. 404-514-4895. Skeeters BP on Instagram. www.skeetersballingpots.com, the website. We got you. All if right. you're a business owner and you want something done at your job, we'll pull up in your parking lot and ball right there for you. First of all, they ain't even employed like that. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't been in the parking lot. Start the cap. Just give me any well with a hose pipe, I got you. Oh, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for tuning in to the show earlier. Welcome to the after show. I am your girl, T.S. Madison, honey, and my girl came through all the way. It was a know your type night. We have... Oh, they said, okay, Craig said y'all too loud. Craig said y'all too loud over there. Thank you, Corey. I ain't gonna hold you no more. Thank you. Craig said y'all too loud. We too loud on it because we recording this for the podcast. All right. Oh, shit. This little meat. Oh. Listen, God, I want y'all to give a round of applause for my judge tonight, Miss Tokyo Vanity Bear. Tokyo came through, honey. We had a good time, honey. She gave me that know your love, that know your love, bitch. And we about to sit up here and take a couple of you calls from you guys so that, ooh, girl, look at the devil trying to slide my, the devil trying to slide in. He trying to slide in, but he will not have our place. Thus saith he, he will not have our place. Let me turn Hmm. that back up. He will not have our place. He will not. Oh, Oh, we gonna send the devil to a, a, a death by bucking. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna open up the phone lines. We're gonna let you fans come through and talk a little bit about the show. 
Tell Tokyo how much you love it and make sure that you are watching Love and Hip Hop each and every Love and Hip Hop Atlanta each love and every Love in Tokyo. Is Love in Tokyo? And tell them where to get your app, your your music at, sir. The link in my bio at Tokyo X Bandy. All right, baby, you fucking this shit up. All right, Jamil, let's open up the line for the first caller. Oh shit. Oh, three, three. It's the Queen Supreme Court battle for the bench with this honorable judge Maddie and special guest judge Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, caller. My name is Dunia. I'm calling from Milwaukee. I am T.S. Madison's sister and touch your family. Good. You do your motherfucking thing tonight, girl. Yes. Hey, yes. <laughs> I just got one question. Why did why did they do uh, Kanye West that way? They killed him. Why, <laughs> no. Why, why Kanye West did us that way? I'm hollering. That was it. Had me going. I'm like, oh my motherfucking god. <laughs> <laughs> that was Oh my fucking God! Did that woman survive? I don't know. Listen, I don't know if that woman survived, but baby, if Kanye was on there, he definitely ain't gonna survive, baby. Death by bucking. Death by bucking. <laughs> That's our new death penalty. Yeah. Death by bucking. <laughs> I was, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was it. That's the biggest shit I ever seen in my life. Madison, you did that motherfucking thing on that wall. Thank you, baby. What did you think about? Uh, what's her name? What's OJ daughter's name? Chloe. Uh, what did you think about Chloe? Oh, listen, we on the after show. Fuck all that. Yeah, she has to grow her ass. I'm like, fuck you, girl. You pull up that show with nothing but dirty laundry and it was just like that. Maddie, you got some more Girl, but I, I don't want nobody to take a thing, girl. I, I just want to say that y'all did the motherfucking thing tonight, and I am going to keep watching the Queen's Court, Maddie. You know you're not kissing, girl. I'm going to keep supporting you, girl. Thank you, baby. I love you, and thank you for tuning in. We had a good time tonight, child. It was all love here. This was a know your night, baby. Love in Tokyo. That's right. Yeah, that's All right. Thank you, boo. I will you tonight, girl. All right, baby. <laughs> yeah, good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> she was something. All right, let me call her. Caller 2979, it's the Queen Supreme Court battle for the bench with this honorable judge Maddie and special guest judge Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where you calling from and what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call. Yes, child. My name is Jared. I'm calling from North Carolina and let me just tell you how you that judge Docky girl gave me all of my life. I was dating before, child. I was everything. Yes, child. Yes, damn. Listen, we love Kanye. He took my ass overseas, right on over to Japan, baby. Come yes. on, Japan. Okay. We love Kanye, but we had to go head on. We we couldn't find no other way to punish Kanye. He got to go on with all that. He just had to leave by that horse. That bucket. <laughs> that bucket. <laughs> But what really had me dead was the hot butter knife. <laughs> yes. Because that what Otis look like he got lined up with. You say he looked like he got lined up with a hot butter knife. Mm-hmm. But why do you think that... But what do you think it was about him doing that to Kanye? Is it about the money? Do You, think you mean it, to Kevin. I mean, not Kanye. Yeah, to Kevin. To Kevin. Excuse me, Lord. These prayers done got in my throat. You know, sometimes people just want to be in your position. <laughs> Well, honestly, Mother Mother Madison, I really do believe that an idle mind is the devil's workshop money, and I think he was just bored. He ain't got no life. Well, I mean, he wants some money. Kevin Hart is like a really, he's a, he's a, he's a big star, you know, he's a superstar. And that's, that's just the price. That's just the price of that. When you become a superstar girl, like all of those things tend to happen to you, honey, you know. Bitch have been a yeah, t- they'll find right. an old they'll find an old sex tape, honey. They'll find you in there douching your ass out in the bathroom and put that shit out and say, girl, honey, this child is a fleet But queen. you know what? That's why when I went on Love Hip Hop and me being on the internet, I just I be myself in anything. You can't out me. Everything about me is already out. So you hey, don't think I'm nobody going to pull up no sex tape on you? I mean, what they going to pull up? Which, which finger or what vibrator they going to pull it up with? What sex tape? Uh-huh. I'm just saying, so I can't y'all. be out it. Okay, what's the question, Bay? Okay, first of all, Miss Madison, let me just tell you that I'm a huge fan, and I just think you really are the hot shit. You always have been, always will be. I, I try, like child. I try. I'm fat, though, but I try. Thank you, baby. I just have to take that time to say that right now. Thank you. Thank you, boo. And so, yes, ma'am. So my question was, Miss Tokyo Vanity, 
Mm-hmm. Congratulations on your song. I love it, hip hop. I am so excited to tune in and see you there. Thank you. And my question for you is: Have you heard of this rapper named um, Cupcake on YouTube? I you love her little nasty. I like Cupcake too. I like Cupcake. I love her. She said, my pussy wet, eat cream. Hey! It never smelled like so deep. Hey. <laughs> hey. I like, I like yes. cupcake. And when cupcake first came on the scene, um, I always used to have comments with people saying, you and cupcake should do a song. I used to just be like, I don't know how the content going to add up, but okay, let's do it. Like, I love yes. cupcake. Tokyo, can I ask you a question while the call is on the line? Oh, what did my best friend do for you? What did it do? Like, did it did it change did it change something for you? Oh my God, yes. Um, if it wasn't for that's my best friend, I wouldn't even be sitting right here with you right now. Yes, you would, cause I, I no. I've always loved you. Right, I wouldn't even been living in Atlanta to be you know sitting like. Girl, I was gonna come to the if you would have be still been in at, at, uh, Louisiana. I used to follow you and all that type of stuff, girl. I just thought that y'all were. You know what? We I was a fan of you, of you, you. And all of those folks from New Orleans on Vine, I just think that, you know, my introduction on Vine was a different way. Mine was coming to the door 22 I loved in. it. I loved it. And so many people was bashing me when that first came out. You know, we Vine stars. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to see y'all. Y'all used to always laugh at y'all. I used to see all y'all like a family. And I didn't feel like that I had that type of family from Vine because I felt like that I was on the outside. I was a trans- If you would have DM me, I... I would have. But I thought y'all were such big people and wouldn't say nothing to me. Bitch, we weren't shit. (laughs) (laughs) Like, we was just living our best lives. Me and Super used to ride around together in a red Corolla, (laughs) um, buying seafood with food stamps, Uh all that. And and now my partner, a whole millionaire. And I'm. Life is just crazy. But you know what's so sickening about that situation is that we all came from the same area, but we never knew that we were all. End up being in some similar spot. Like I ain't been on no love and hip hop and stuff, but I done been all on TV, yeah, and doing stuff like that, and I made a name for myself outside of. And life, come on in, mm-hmm. and, and never life, thought that we were gonna see you. And life, everything is about timing. It wasn't mm-hmm. meant for us to meet back then. Probably not. It was meant for us to meet now and eat crabs from Skeeter's yeah. Boiling Pie. Yeah, and have I feel like you. Yeah. What? Come on in. Did you tell them how long we had? I had to keep recording, keep recording, keep recording. Yes, ma'am. Cause I don't play. <laughs> bitch, I don't care if it's a dirty video. Bitch, record. Get that shit right. <laughs> or you gonna be fried fish in the morning, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I just feel like, like I said, in life, everything is about time. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carla. Thank you so much. Yeah, but that's my best friend did do a lot for me. It did, especially musically, cause it, it got me in a lot of places. It made baby come fuck with me, and you know, come like on, baby, yeah, it made busy manage me. I do music with. They'll tell you I'm in the studio every night with the hottest rappers out right now. You know what I'm saying? So. It definitely put me in a great position musically because people can, they can say what they want. They can call you a one hit one. They can say whatever you want, but one is better than your none. I got two plaques. You got no plaques. So, right. You know? Right. I All feel right, you on that. Do that. you suck the body? Do you eight, suck the body? Three, the crab? No, five, you eat it. It's seven, a lot. Let me look. You have to break it. Supreme look. Court battle for the bench with dishonorable judge Maddie and special guest. Judge Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call him. Hey guys, this is Jay calling from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hey Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hi. (laughs) Yes, T Town and Hills up. Anyway, I'm just so happy to find you. I was so frustrated last week. I could not find you. I don't know why. I was just like, "Ah." everybody in the world was like looking for you. You know, even though you was on. uh, Facebook. But anyway, this is kind of not on the ledger because I'm so happy to be talking to both of you guys. And I watched you last tonight, um, Tokyo, on Vanity on. Um, yep. And I only watch for you. I know you probably think I'm lying, but I'm not. I'm like, I'm interested in this chick right here. I appreciate but, um, it. I want to know what keeps y'all, like, I like to watch people that motivate me. I want to know what keeps y'all motivated because, Maddie, I have seen, like, your sex videos, even though I didn't pay for it, but I saw the little. Uh, oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, 
going. Girl, because listen. What, what keeps you going? Well, for me, I can't speak for my sister over here, but for me, I feel like that every time somebody has told me no, I have to prove to myself that I can make a yes out of anything, especially with when when God told me, honey, that uh he, it all things are possible through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that strengthens me. <laughs> I, I believe that. You, I mean, hands off. I mean, you do, and I, I watch you with your mom. I watched you when you went for her birthday. I watch you on all these radio shows. Because when people intrigue me and inspire me, I watch what they do. I'm like, what is keeping her going? All the controversy. You kept fighting. I'm like, I, probably, I don't know if I would have kept going. But you did. You did. It was class, so. Well, girl, um, listen, let me tell you something. I like that. On the show, you like one of the realest people. You don't look fake. Everybody else looks so fake. And when you came on, I kept seeing little clips. I'm like, this chick real right here. She ain't, she ain't got, she ain't like scripted. She like real. And what keeps you motivated? Okay, so. What keeps me motivated is for years and years and years and years, the black fat woman has been either tucked away or either we are made as the fat friend, the yes man, the person who gonna be there, body up for the little small person, or either they make us look like we a hater, like we hating on people because they're slim. So in life, I felt like society and TV needed me because there's so many girls around the world who look just like me. It's the same. The people who watch the show and who supporting all these bitches, they have the same body dynamics as me. So I wanted to be the person who came on TV and showed them that, yeah, you fat, you can live your best life too. You don't have to be out here, you know what I'm saying, doing degrading shit. Or you don't have to be out here being a bully and things like that. Like, you can live your best life just like the rest of these girls. You beautiful too. You look good too. You don't, you know, you don't have to walk in nobody's shadow or feel like you have to be violent. You know when you but do you will stuff. Ass, though. Oh, for sure. Or you know you try. You don't have to. You know overly sexualize yourself for people to like you. Just be but, you and let us see you in. What, what if you overly sexualize you? I saw then that's, that's who you are. Again, you get what I'm there. saying? I, I was like, they, they respecting this chick right here. I was like, I like that. But ladies, ain't gonna take up your time. Keep impressing me. Keep impressing the world. Tell them hell no because y'all some bad bitches. And I thank like you, baby. Thank you. And thank you for calling in. Thank, and thank, thank you for you tuning in to the show. We're going to have Tokyo Bag Honey one of these good days. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah. Please do. Okay, thank you. Thank you, boo. Oh, this crap was All great. All right, Nick. Call mm -hmm. Call her 1100. The Queen's Supreme Court battle for the bench with this honorable judge, Maddie. And special guest judge, Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, Paula. Yo, what's up, man? It's your white boy, Charles Chucky from Maryland. Hey, boo. Hi, hey, baby. Hi. Come on, Maryland. Hi, boo. What's, what's up, up, baby? Bro? What's Listen, First of all, tonight was fucking phenomenal. Thank Second you, baby. Of all, I have to touch base on the DNS. I think that is the problem with society and kids and the shootings and all the shit that's going on nowadays because back then when we was kids, I mean, I'll be 32, when the lights came on on the street pole, your ass was in the house. When your parents grounded you from going outside, that shit killed you. Nowadays, kids want to stay in the house. You know, they don't care about that. They got all that shit, so I'm all for beating that. Yes. Did you it's see that? That 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 woman needed to help. That that little boy needs his behind. Well, mama, where you at? Well, I don't want to cuss real hard. She, 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 she Oh, mama, you said that you, <laughs> mama, mama. I remember a time, Charles. My mama would look across the room, and a child would turn to stone, and it wasn't even her baby. Yeah. Her child would Listen, turn. Listen, I to remember when my mama used to look. She would just pick up the remote control, and I needed to shut up. Yes, you better know it. So I mean, if you don't beat, if you don't beat the child in the store, the police are coming there when he's a grown man and beat his ass outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, you know, my mom used to always say to me is when I used to say, you know, I'm gonna call the cops. You say I'm gonna beat your ass. Why they coming? I'm gonna beat your ass while they here. Well, my mama told what exactly what my mama did. was a firm believer in. You get your ass towed up when you act up it. Yeah. That's definitely one of his miracles. Wherever you show out at, that's what I'm tearing you up at. Mm -hmm. I, he's 
Yeah, my mommy used to say that, yeah, if she will beat you at the bus stop and everything. She don't care. I will embarrass you in front of your friends. She said you will learn today. Today. You gonna get that ass told up today. today. But anyway, I just wanted to say I respect so much. The show was phenomenal tonight. And one thing that Tokyo said that I always hear Maddie say is that she never lets no ho block her because... You know, her blessing is hers, and that's why I've always said I respected you, and I've told you this a thousand times. Yes, you have, baby. You always rise above the bullshit is because what your blessing is your blessing. So fuck what everybody says and continue to do you guys. So I don't want to hold you up, but I'm glad that I got through, and uh, I can't wait for next week's show. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I love you. We're going to talk soon. You guys love you, man. Give give Tokyo some love, honey, because she came through tonight. I love you too, Tokyo. Listen, I love Tokyo. Listen, I stayed watching her from the get when I seen her on there. I said, that's my best friend. I was excited. Love you too. Listen, she better be back next season. She needs to replace some of these boring ass hoes on the show. Oh. That's a real, she real, trust in, listen, she real as hell. <laughs> I promise you that she's real as shit. She don't hold back for nothing. When that last caller said she's not scripted, you can tell when she's talking, it's not a script, as though she's reading something. That's right, she's real honey. Shit, so I respect the hell out of her. Especially when she said you'll get popped. popped. <laughs> oh, she said, yeah. Okay, pop. Who gonna pop me, man, bitch? Who gonna pop me? me? When her friend, when listen, when her friend here with that purse tonight, listen, that girl got popped. <laughs> <laughs> she got popped with that purse tonight, listen. And I see, look, I see her jump up like she was doing it. She was about it too. And beat the shit out of the security. <laughs> and indeed, you so did, listen. Indeed, you did. And, and then security guards wasn't there. You'd have got it way more in. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much, baby, and uh, we will talk All soon. Right. I, I love you. you. Love you guys. See you, Maddie. Thank you. All right, baby. Come All on. Right. That's rolling me in, honey. Oh. Rolling me in an Autobots. Roll them out. Call eighty-seven oh one. You're live with the Queen Supreme Court with. Judge Maddie and Judge Tokyo Tony. What's your name? Where you calling from? Tokyo and Tony. The judge on the no, legend. Tokyo Play Vanity. Home. Tokyo Vanity. Yes, Tokyo Vanity, not Tony. I'm 23. Hello. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, um, man, you know it is, girl. Jones. Kiki from Jones, but a motherfucking Georgia. I love my Kiki. Don't you say Kiki? What's up, babe? You know, you, and you, you know I love you, Maddie, all day. So I wanted to start off by saying, Tokyo, girl. <laughs> you know, I love you. I love, I, I, I discovered Super, and then I discovered you, you know what I'm saying, your song from the vibe. Like, that's the hottest song. That song is I like, I'm going to never go, oh, I'm going to always have my best friend, and I'm in the club, nigga. That's my best friend. <laughs> and I love that song. And it's going to be the theme song for the rest of my dying night. Come on. Yes. Come on, theme song. So I just want to say that, listen, I mean, you're amazing on the show. Um, as far as just, you know, everything that you represent as a, an African beautiful woman, um, you just represent so many young girls out there. It's like, hey, I, I mean, we, we've come in from a place where we've had nothing, where I... Mom, our dads had to go out there and bust their tail and do what they had to do, no income base. But you show people in the world that it don't matter where you come from, a pine box, you can make it to a mansion, baby. It's all about what you set forth to yourself and your goals. And then you. you already know how to respect you. Uh, like, beyond reason, then, you know, just with my goals that, I, that I've shared with you many a times on the show. Yes. How people have came to me and how it has opened up a lot of things for me. Um, I just respect you in the way of how you bounce back. You know, I don't really want to dig deep in that because you know that's where it touches to my soul. Right, Love right. Both of you women, but I can say the way you handled that situation was the utmost, most queenish, queen bee persona that could ever have been written in the book of women to women bullshit. You know Thank you, baby. And, and all that. Like, when I said you, you stood strong, you ain't back down, and at the end of the day, God seen you through that. I'm still Both going through, through it. That. I'm still going and through you and it. Your then it, that, I'm still going through it, but you know, listen. I wish everybody the best, cause like like Tokyo said, it's the same. It's the same part of my philosophy. What God got for me is mine. Yeah, we all got the same. But you know, baby, you going through blessings, boo. 
Blessings come with ups and downs. You're going through blessings. You ain't going through nothing hard, boy. You're going through blessings and more blessings. And when I see a woman, and, and this is what I want to do for is my blogging, my entertainment, like right in that lane. Everything that you and Vanity are doing is what I see myself doing every day. The love that I get from people, the natural charisma that I give off to the world. I got so much to give. You know, I'm at a roadblock right now because I've got so many ideas, but I really want to take some time whenever you get some downtime and you have time to reach out to your fans on a level where helping them pursue their goals for like advisory and just like what steps they can take. I would really love to be one of those okay. people on the list. All right. We we'll never. Okay, good. Well, just it, you know how we talk. Me and you talk. So we'll talk. We'll talk about that after all this type of stuff here. We'll talk about I, that. I love you guys. The show was phenomenal, Vandy. I love you. I love um, you too. I just got work, so I wasn't able to love you, but my girl, you know, I got my DVR on record. You know, I <laughs> want, and I will be seeing you. I catch up in the inbox and tell you what I thought about the show. Okay. All right, baby. Okay. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Talk to you next week. Thank you, boo. Okay. I love her. That's my baby. All right, call us two three eight zero. It's the Queen Supreme Court battle for the bench with this honorable judge Maddie and special guest judge Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where are you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call Good morning, Miss Maddie, and good morning, Miss Tokyo. Hey, hey baby. Michael Underwood. Hey, Michael Underwood. Oh, listen. Have you and uh, all listen, Michael? I'ma need you and Le- and Leandria. To get that thing together. When y'all have you got your son yet? <laughs> you know we broke that story to the internet that you are you are Leandria Johnson's real husband. You we, I just wanted to give you a call and thank you for everything you've done and to help me uh get that situation to where the situation is at right now. And uh God always puts good people in the right place at the right time and you so did. what's the update yeah. on that? Give me an update. Yeah. Tell me what's going on with Leandria Johnson, honey. Season's uh, a Sunday's best winner, honey. Tell me, you her husband. What had happened? Yes, ma'am. And uh, well, our court date is on the 23rd. After what? your show, two days after your show, her uh, lawyer, uh, entertainment lawyer, he uh with my lawyer. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And then when her lawyer, uh, what you call that dude, her, her uh, assistant, uh, uh-huh. Her assistant. Yeah, after he did all of that, you know, that's when it we all got really came to life. But. but I thank you, thank you, Gio, Mr. Gio, and uh, tell your brother I said what's up, uh, Miss 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 Madison, and um, thank you for everything you've done. All right, baby, I love you, and we'll talk soon, child. I love you, love you, love you. Too, because I got stuff to talk about. Well, I'll wait there after you done. I'll wait there after you done settle that. I, I, I got some stuff we can talk about. That. All right. Okay. All right, boo. Tokyo, you ten. I give you a call. I give you a call. We talk. Okay. Okay, boo. And, and Damn. Hung him up. Tokyo. What? Hey. Oh, Tokyo, they trying to figure out what you oh, tell them. That's that's a plate, Miss Mary Cook. Y'all have right. to understand, okay? I live a very fast life, okay? Look, wait a minute, Jamil. <laughs> I live a very fast life. I eat out every single day. I appreciate home cooked meals. I miss my mama. She right. live so many hours away. So all y'all can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and my mama had cooked that though. Mama, you Miss cook Mary that. cooked this. Miss and I'll fight yeah. any one of y'all that got anything to say about Miss Mary cooking because she did her best. It was good. She <laughs> 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 yeah, did it's good. Yeah. She did her best. Her oh, oh. <laughs> did her best. Yes, and it's good. And they're good. Yes, yeah. because you tear it up because that's not your first plate, girl. This is my second one. <laughs> <laughs> The first one was little, cause I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. But the second was big, cause you enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. All right. You know what I'm saying? So what you're saying? Cause right. everybody had three and four plates, so I don't get Everybody did plate. have three and four plates. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And you ate this. You ate. And you came over. And ate my. Let me tell y'all something. Seafood not filling. Sure not. It. Why you leave these potatoes here? Tell them, Tokyo. You can have the potatoes. Murder, that stuff mm. got too high. Mm. Mm. It's good, baby. Oh, thank you, Craig. Craig, if you wasn't gay, <laughs> oh, I would love you. That's a trick. Who was right man? Mm-hmm. He got them pink shouts on. Oh! Wait, 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 what? Uh-oh, don't do friends. Oh, you ain't got the pink shorts on. Oh, Where you at with the pink shorts? What's up with the pink shorts? All right, well, who's the next caller? You got them pink oh, trousers on. I said, what y'all eating? Tell them what y'all eating. Yeah, you, Craig, Craig, you ain't even a little straight. You ain't a little straight. You ain't a little straight. Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call it. Carla, what's the tea? What's the tea? Hey, hey, Maddie. Hey, Tokyo. Hey, girl. What's up, girl? How y'all doing? Child, we getting fat. This is, this is the oh, mm-hmm. Hey, I'm with that. I'm with that. Mm-hmm. Getting fat as dope. Yo, I was uh, digging the show tonight. Like, it was really, like, she, she's a great co-host. Y'all are perfect there. Hey. Yes. Uh, speaking of... Yeah, y'all were real good together. Thank you, baby. Speaking on uh, Kanye West, like, I honestly think dude is like bipolar. And the donkey move he made, that shit was so funny. He had me rolling on Man, the floor. Man, that death. I think he's still battling the loss of his mama. Yeah, I, I do. I, I I keep saying this over and over that the, but the, him losing his mom is the reason why his he's he's in the he's in that place that he is. Let me tell you something. Yeah, and you know that those those Kardashians will keep a black man in a sunken place. But yeah. let me tell y'all something. He battling in Calabasas. My mama has had open heart surgery two times. In the last three years, my mama had an emergency brain surgery. My mama had me at forty years old. My mama is sixty three now. So. I don't know what it feel like to lose your mom, but I know what it feel like to almost lose mm-hmm. a mama. And bitch, I'm not the same person mm-hmm. that I was right. from almost losing a mama. So with him right. losing his mama, you know, I, and it's no excuse because he's be doing some cool shit. But you know, you know, he lost his mama unexpectedly. He was he was trying mm-hmm. to do a good gesture. Mm-hmm. You know, she wanted to get her body done or whatever mm-hmm. it was, and he was making the money. So he like, I'm gonna bless my mama and let her get her body done. So he's harboring a whole different type of guilt because he feel like if I would have never paid for this shit, my mama would still be here. Right. I know that. Like, I know but, that's why he clicked out like that. But his wife is fake. But I don't even think he would have married her. If his mom I was still here, I don't even know if he, he would have married her. Proof. He had some uh, Lucas Crew prior to that, too. I think that this is to a whole other level. I have always said that I thought that Kanye was a genius. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I've Definitely. always felt that. And, and, from- and people that are geniuses are crazy. Naturally right. crazy. That's a natural part of them. They're crazy. I don't know. I miss old Kanye. Graduation Kanye. Just bring yes. him back. Oh, I pee. Uh, bring back. You got to pee. But no, I said just bring him back. Because listen, you know, I always said I never could trust a man who make a, a song like Jesus Walk and then double back with a song like No Man Should Have All That Power. So, so the right. same man, he should have all that power when he saves your life. Mm-hmm. But... I don't know, man. Whatever. But we, we, we well, listen. We already mourning Kanye because that horse took him out. He did. That's Death by that bucking. Death by bucking took Kanye out. Did. I mean. Um, all right. Well, thanks, ladies, for letting me come on. Uh, keep up the dope work, Maddie and Tokyo. Big shout out to Jamel as well. Thank Y'all you, baby. Evening. You too, baby. You too, Jamel. Let's take two more calls. I gotta let these folks go. All right. Call uh. Two, one, three, nine. You're on live with the Queen Supreme Court title for the bench with this honorable judge Maddie and special guest Judge yeah, Tokyo Kennedy. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's pleasure? Go ahead, call him. Hello. Hi. Hi. My name is Becky and I'm Are you Becky with the good hair? Oh. Are you Becky with the good hair? Is this Becky with the good hair? No, I'm just Becky with the cornrows. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's cornrows, Becky. So that means you really Cleo at she, night. Where's she from? <laughs> that means you will set it off. <laughs> oh, my God. She was <laughs> um, I was calling to say I really want to commend Tokyo on the whole thing with being vocal about her virginity. Oh. Because I do have a 23-year-old daughter who's also a virgin, and this showed her that it's not a bad thing. 
I mean, and I just want to thank God for that. It puzzles me that it even can even be considered a bad thing. Like you know, I'm not anybody who I don't I don't judge people. Anybody who know me know I'm one of the most free hearted, open people. I don't care what you are, who you are, what you doing, and who you doing it with. So it really puzzles me because most of the women that I see talk down on me are women who you can look at them and tell like they have. Self esteem issues. It's always a girl who I go on her Instagram page and she on the ass naked telling me that. You know what I'm saying? Or like a right, girl. So just, as a mother, I just want to thank you and just say I really, really applaud you for this. And it, it doesn't have, it's not a bad thing. And as my daughter says, she's, she's not necessarily waiting for marriage, but she's not ready. Right. Right. Well, I'm ready to go back to being a virgin. Can I unfuck these <laughs> niggas? <laughs> I also wanted to ask. Did you oh, Janu really said the numbers really going to be she did. a poor situation as far as Nikki and Cardi? I hope so. I hope so. I hope that Nikki, like, little sisters her and, like, take her under her wing. I hope so, too, because I, I, I both of them are just wonderful. Yeah, this industry is vicious. So, as many... If you could build an alliance, build it. So I, I hope that is what happened. I hope they get past it and both prosper and do beautiful things in the industry together or not together, but just not beefing. I just don't think it's. Throat. I just don't think it's beef. I think the industry put pit you against each other because oh, I just yeah. think it's that. Exactly. I don't, they make exactly. it out where you and have to do I think it's a that. lot of people in the the audience that are watching them online are adding a lot of these things on also. Yeah, but Cardi even said she has sat down with Nikki and it's been shade. Like, I don't know, man. Point blank, it ain't my business. I don't give a fuck. Like, Mama, this cake good. <laughs> right. To my question, and this is Cleo out. <laughs> All right, baby. All right, baby. I love you. One more call, and love then we go. Too. Yeah. All right, let's call up. Call up four three. One eight, the Queen Supreme Court battle for the bench with this honorable judge Maddie. And special guest today is Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's regiment? Go ahead, caller. What's up? What's up? Am I live? Is you live? Who? Who is you live? Am I live? Yeah. You was live. Yes, you live. You are live. Who? <laughs> you are live. This is Cortez Washington, baby. Cortez, what's up, baby? Cortez, what's up? What's going on, bitch? Cortez, Cortez listen, I, I want to. That work again. All right, bitch, you was in the closet. Cortez, you ain't got no business being in the closet. You the op- you the most openliest gay man I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Cortez, I want to say this to you. I, I want to say this to you, and I want this to resonate in your spirit. Okay. After you oh, back it up, you stop, and then you what, 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 what? Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Come on, we're going to do it one more time, Tokyo. After you back it up, then stop. You what, 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 what? Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Drop it like it's motherfucking hot. That's, that's yeah. right. <laughs> That's why. Right. That's why. Right. Yes. What's up? Uh, how y'all doing? What's up, Jamil? Y'all, hey, everybody. Yeah. Uh, Tokyo, bitch. I just love you, bitch. I just <laughs> love you. I watch you every Monday. Every Monday, bitch. Thank you. <laughs> yes, baby. I love you. You real, but you ain't. You ain't going. You ain't going. You ain't going. I ain't going. going for none of that shit. She said, "Who gonna pop me, bitch? Who gonna pop me?" So, what are you thinking? I know, I know this wasn't on the docket, but uh, what is Mama D trying to do? Mama D. Uh, next call. You know, uh, Mama D is going to be long. Cardi is going to be a remix Cardi B song. Bodak Yellow. Mm. Oh, Cortez, see. Baby, I don't know. Cortez. I don't know. <laughs> Cortez. Yeah, y'all be here. Y'all, y'all haven't heard that song. She got a remake to Bodak Yellow. Yeah, she do. Mama D was <laughs> she. I, Mama D. Mama D came. She put that old school. She put that old school pimp funk on it. Mama D came to put that old school pimp funk on it. Mama D, you know where I'm at. You know where I be. Mama D. 
She deserves. Mama D, you know where I'm at. You know where I be. Mama D. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need Mama D. I don't know why she waited till she got a hundred years old to get her ass done. <laughs> Thank God somebody's saying what everybody else is thinking. Here lies the body of Tokyo Vanity, 1994 to 2018. She leaves behind five siblings and a loving mother. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, I'm back, Lord. It's the third day I rose. No, you did not say that. Lady did not get her ass done. Uh, I'm about to get a call. I promise you, she has Madison. She has Madison. Go look it up. Go look it up. She did. She's got a body. She had a whole 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 body. She not too quick, she I ain't ready. She's like one of them quarter, them quarter, um, them quarter chicken legs. <laughs> Take me out. <laughs> Take me what, to the king. What is a quarter chicken? Off of, like, dog meat? Yeah, yeah, she looking like a quarter. She looking like one of them quarter length like chicken legs, baby. Take me to the king. Don't do Mama D like that. Mama D is talented. Anybody, anybody that grown that can take a new age song like that, take a millennial song and put some stank on it. Child, it was really stanky. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they say Tokyo is not involved. Oh, um, yes, I am. No, they talk about something the Mama D conversation. Oh, uh uh. I ain't got time. Girl, uh, it's a girl, girl, I can't talk about my coworkers. Did she take college? Did you call it? No, she did it. Did what? That song. This, this, I want to do. Um, oh, Cardi do Cardi B know? Well, no. I think if Car if Cardi seen it, Cardi would have reposted it. She loves shit like that. She probably seen right. it. Don't listen. Don't Cardi them see everything. No. Well, okay. Don't 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 do that. Mama D put them bars on it. She put the Mama D bars on it. You know what, man? <laughs> No, you was not paying a bit. No, not in the background. No, <laughs> y'all know I ain't really here for Mama D. No, not in the background. Uh, what, what y'all, what y'all think about Kanye? I mean, not Kanye. What y'all think about Kanye West? Y'all think he gone crazy? Kill a buck. Kanye, he gone now. We had his funeral now. We did. We watched him go on that horse. We had the repass right now. <laughs> we watched him go on that horse, good. That horse he looking bad. We had bucking. died by bucking. Died by bucking. He died by bucking. Listen, I don't want. I, listen, I want to say this, Cortez. I want to ask you this because I know you will. What did you think about us sentencing, sentencing, um, uh, Tokyo Tony? <laughs> Uh, to a reality show and give and each one of us took a collection plate that got a hundred dollars. It was a nurse home. No, we no. That's look him house ain't a nurse home. Oh, y'all y'all seen the y'all seen the Tokyo the where now? We sent his her sent his her to a uh, reality show, but we all took up an offering in the room to get five dollars. It's twenty it was twenty of us, and then we took five dollars, which made a hundred dollars. Right. <laughs> And uh, we, they, she gonna go ahead on and get uh, uh, Lil Kim's house for a hundred dollars, and they gonna go ahead on and start filming her show in there. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's but, happening. You know, Wendy put hundred and three dollars. Girl, girl, what what is going on, y'all? What is going on with this house? A hundred dollars, Lord have mercy. Kim got that. They just trying to make that shit look bad. Look, Kim. That's why they the said it was bed. the opening yeah. bid. Yeah. Like that was yeah. being petty. Uh, uh, she don't live in that house. Let me go get this out my damn shoe. First of all, first of all, let me tell y'all something. Cause, cause y'all ain't gonna just keep talking about Kim. I said my auntie ain't want the house no more. <laughs> That's what I felt you. I do feel that. I feel like she don't want the house. She don't no want more. it no more. My, my girl want to move somewhere with some sons. She don't want that house no more. I don't give a damn if I don't want no house no more. I'm not gonna sell my house for no hundred. Dollars. But she not selling it. The bank is starting it at starting the building at a hundred dollars. But trust, they not gonna take no hundred dollars. That's a three million dollar house. She, she the Kim get shit for clothes. She don't want the. I just gotta say, she don't want. I don't, she don't want the house. I'm with you on that. You, you, you think you 
you think it's, uh, it's a hundred house or something? It's hundred. It got ghosts in it or something. Biggie. It, it got the. It got. It got the. <laughs> It it ain't got big in there because she would definitely gave him a hundred dollars to keep it if it had big in there. All right, next, next, no. next. <laughs> and one last thing I want to ask you: I, we we was really looking at Chloe. It was it was OJ daughter. Yeah, we was yeah, looking yeah. at OJ. We was looking at Chloe Chloe Simpson's booty, mm-hmm. and we thought that it was uh, it was diaperish and a. Uh, Tokyo said it was a sandbag. He was giving me huggy. Girl, girl. Sandbag. Now that's a wisdom tooth booty right there. Sandbag. She said a wisdom I tooth booty. A wisdom <laughs> tooth. Can you tell me what a wisdom that tooth is? Like a, that bitch made up like a wisdom tooth. Big at the top and little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a wisdom tooth. Yes. Big as hell at the top and little as hell at the goddamn bottom, bitch. I bind it up. That was funny. I bind it up. Mm-hmm. All right, Cortez. That's one, that's one of that's, that's one of them 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 bodies you just got to pray for, Jack. You know what? We prayed that I had that I had to leave. <laughs> Cortez, listen, I love you. I gotta get these people out here. They gotta get. They got a long way to go. I love you so much. And listen, I'm gonna hit you up okay, one of these days. I'm I love you too, baby. I'm gonna you hit you up one you. of these days. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna okay. hit you up one of these days so that you come over here. I, I'm so scared to put you on the bench next to me, child. You gonna have the host standing outside, honey, burning my house down. Worse than Kaya. <laughs> Worse than Kaya, motherfucking ass, child. You know I'm scared. She has matter. Look, she has matter, but you. You know, I'm just real. I'm a Aries. I'm, 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 I'm going to keep it real. That's all. You know, I ain't, I ain't, so, that's all. You know, people hate the truth, though. Oh, I know. People hate the truth. I know. People hate the truth, you call All right. I love you, Cortez. We'll talk soon. All right, baby. All right. All right. I love you, too. I love you, too. Thank you, baby. All right, Jamel. Thank you for thank you for taking the call tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this show was sponsored by Skeeter's Boiling Pot. I want you to thank my guest Tokyo Vanity for coming through. Let's give give Tokyo a round of applause again. We had a good show, and she will be back. Tokyo, tell them you will be back. If she has me back, I'm I'll, I'm definitely going to have you back. And listen, please tell them where to get your music from that we listen to on the show. You can get my album Konnichiwa on my page. It's on um, Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify, everything. Um, at Tokyo X Vanity on Instagram. Link in my bio. All right, go best friend. That's, That's my, my best, best friend. friend. You better oh. not get killed by buckets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we love you, and we'll see you next week. All right, boo.